Well, here we are. Our second generation Fiddlefly is, is here. So, just uh, nine months after we launched the first one, we have generation two. So let's take a look at what this thing has to offer. As you can see, we have a limited amount of, of layouts here to play with, but you'll see that layouts won't even play a big factor in developing sites on this platform because you can completely customize everything. But here I'll choose one of them and we can get the process started. So we've already laid it out like the previous platform where things are laid out, logo at the top, menu, title, text. You can see I've uploaded a logo. And by the way, all of you designers and developers out there, guess what? Now you can change the background. If you upload a PNG or a transparent file, you can change the background on anything, absolutely anything. So as you can see, I'm just going to move some things around, show you that I can bring the title above the logo, which couldn't be done before. And I'm just going to get rid of it. And I'm going to do a little bit of text editing as, as before. Go to the site that you want to pull some information from. Remember, pull only the most important information. Keep it simple. Here I'm going to just copy and paste this in. Go back to the platform. Highlight it. And as we did before, paste it in. I have the ability to change the fonts. Do all the cool things that you need to do for your customer. Here's the other great part. No save button just click off and it automatically updates everything for you now here are the cool widgets that we spoke about drag and drop widgets we have some test uh, numbers in there just just for uh, test purposes but you can see I'm gonna put in my phone number we're gonna throw in the email and when we get to the social media and I was gonna put my name let me go ahead and put in the the info at fiddlefly.com just like that um, when I work here in the Facebook and Twitter or, or, or the things I'm going to be adding, I'm just going to write in Facebook and Twitter. I'm not actually going to put a full account in, but you guys understand. Copy and paste your account. You worked in our platform before. You know how it works. But as you can see, instantly it gets added. No need to save. The, the page doesn't reload. So everything works much faster. And I'll throw in the Twitter video right here. And there we go. And on to the next step. So you can see everything can move. I'm just going to drag this to the bottom just like it was in the previous one but I can leave it at the top if I want and here's the one of the best parts of this whole presentation and and this platform offers much easier much faster design and development as you can see I'm adding pages and I'm not leaving the the, the main screen I don't ever have to leave the screen for anything I can do everything from this particular view adding pages um, adding maps, adding social media, adding lists, adding videos, adding images, anything and everything. I can also manage, which you'll see in just a moment. Let me just add a few more pages here. Um, here's the founders page. I'm just going to add a few so you guys can see how this works. You'll see that I'll be able to manage the content as far as layers goes right from here. Again, speeding up the process of design and development. As you can see, now that I've added all the pages, here comes one of the coolest parts. This is what a lot of people are asking for. Can we change the colors on the on the buttons? Can we update the buttons somehow? Can we take more control? And now the answer is yes. So as you can see, I'm changing the fonts, I'm changing the size, I changed the color, and now I'm actually going to change the color of the buttons right here. So I'm just going to play around with the blue. I want it like this. Maybe I want to change it a little bit. But all I'm showing you is that you have the ability to change the colors and change the buttons and make them your own. So again, we went away from just having layouts and things that you have to work inside and giving you the ability to do anything and everything you want. So here you go. Um, you can see how I added layers quickly right from the same page. You don't have to leave this page anymore. All from the same view, I added layers and I've also added a way to rename my pages again without having to leave the main view page the main editing page so I'm gonna go now into about us and start editing again just grabbing some information from the page that I want to copy things from again just the most important information so following the same process copying pasting you can see the editor now on the right side able to change everything now again all of you designers and developers out there you know you can change the the style the background the colors everything you want to change you can change so you can have a specific color behind the content and a specific color behind the logo as you can see it's different 
you can take things away, you can add things, you can really build this into whatever kind of platform you want. So we're going to go ahead and drag a video in and for the sake of time in this presentation, I'm just going to copy and paste the same video like we did before. I'm just going to grab a video right out of YouTube, which is yours truly, talking about Fiddlefly. You guys can watch that. And I'm going to edit it. You can see it comes up right here. I'm going to erase everything. Oh, didn't highlight everything. Hold on, let me try this again. Hi oh, see, didn't highlight everything again. That's all right. Third time's the charm. Now I got it in. Now, when I reload this video, it's going to be the exact same one, but I'm just showing you how it reloads and, and where to put the information and, and, and that it plays. And again, you can put videos anywhere. You want to put it on top of the Fiddlefly logo or on top of your logo, you can do that. You can put things anywhere you want. It's completely up to you. It's completely custom. So I'm going to add some images here. Let me go find a folder I need. And there's Fiddlefly. And I'm going to take YFF1, and you see it adds, and there it goes right there. So since only a limited number of you will see this initial tutorial, what I did was uh, put the same image in each of the image buttons that I dragged in, and now you'll see me change each one of these images. So you'll see I have three now, and I'm just going to put in the fourth one right here. Again, very simple. Click the Edit Image button. You see it come up. Then you'll see the image change without having to press save or anything. It does it automatically for you, saving you, again, time. One of our most important things here was to save you guys time, give you the, the, the ability to do everything you need, give you more opportunity to build more custom sites, but save you the time and energy from doing it. And, and as you can see, I can drag this anywhere I want. I'm just taking the content and dragging it up. Now that I have the content where I want it to be, I can edit this content as well. Again, just clicking on the edit button. I'm just going to go grab some information from one of our other pages. Again, copying and pasting. It's so simple. Grab what you need from your customers. Plug it in. There you go. Uh, if I wanted to, I could have this information in the middle. Uh, drag the content or the text box in between the images, wherever you want. This is one of the things that our developers, you guys, talked about needing. And, and we decided to listen. We opened our ears and we listened and we got it for you guys. And now it's so simple. So you'll see me drag right in the middle here. You'll see me take the social media and just drag it right in the middle, you know, right in between the two images. And I'll just plug some things in. Let me just take this off. Let me do the share, actually. Let me put the share in here. So you guys haven't seen this yet. This gives you, the developer, the opportunity to share. So you can put this on your client's sites, and they can people that visit there can share that site with other people. So it's great. It's amazing. You guys understand. I don't have to get into the details, but it's just a wonderful feature that you can use. Let me go ahead and keep editing some things. I'm going to add, uh, as you can see, some of my information here. I'm going to create a founders page, show you a, a cool way to break things up with personal content and personal information for each person. So what I'm doing is, again, copying and pasting the information in. I actually got some some other information saved on uh, on my other side of the screen here. Again, since only a handful or not a handful, maybe 20 or 30 of you are going to be seeing this initial tutorial on how this second generation video is working, you know, I can take my time and show you guys something specific. We're going to have a nice clean copy of this put together and a whole bunch of other videos put together. But again, there's a select few of you that are getting to see this. So um, I'm, I'm, it's a little rough, but bear with me and you guys will see all the cool things this thing can do. So I'm going to take this content out and I'm going to plug an image in here. And let me change first uh, all of the content to uh, Trebuchet here. That's the, the font I like. Let me go ahead and upload the image for me. And just, just as a founder, just, you know, maybe you want to showcase somebody from a company for your customers. Um, I'm just showcasing this as, as a way to show you that you can take a profile of someone where in the past you needed to make a profile and all the information had to be at the bottom where in this situation I'm making a profile of myself and you're gonna see me bring in here see here's here's the profile I'm just gonna grab real quick the social media and here's the cool part when I when I drop the social media in you can see it right there when I drop it in now I'm gonna put my own personal phone number this is not the phone number for the company 
This is the phone number for me. Same thing for the email. So what does this do? This gives you the ability to build out custom pages and in each specific place where you want to drag in the social media, that social media doesn't have to be consistent across all pages. You can change it for each individual person and you don't have to, you know, copy and paste and drag in and put in an, an image that looks like a phone or a link phone. You can literally drag in the same social media that you, you do for anything else, but change the content specific. If it's right now I'm adding another person, Ken Bartz, you'll see that the information I put into his social media is different. So I can have people connect just to his Twitter and just to his Facebook account or, or just watch his YouTube pages um, or just you know click to call him or, or email him directly by touching that email button. Um, so now you can see we've added a whole new section. Um, and that's uh, my business partner Max you see there. I just use Ken's name again. Just a rough tutorial so you guys can see how the system works. And I'm just going to change it to his phone number. And I'm going to put in his email. Again, just, just what I said a second ago. Allows you to create completely custom information throughout the whole site. Gives you the ability to use the social media and use it however you want. Put it wherever you want. It doesn't limit you to just have it just at the bottom. So in the context section, once I finish putting this content in, what I'm going to do is just take take out a few things, like the menu, don't need that in there, and throw in all of our social media contact information again. Remember, I can control this information on every page. I'm just going to put in Facebook and not put in the, the, the actual code or copy and paste the code, the link, but just show you how quickly and easily it updates. I'm gonna, I would want to put all of my information that I want on here. Here I just wanted my the quick call, quick email, Facebook, Twitter, and now the maps. One of the things that we wanted to do is, is give you an option of having a static map and having an interactive map. And what you're going to see here is the interactive map. And you'll see the system works. And I'm going to drag down here so you can see how it's an interactive map. You can zoom in. It's the exact same way that it's going to be right on the phone. So very simple. You'll be able to touch that little red hot key and it will take you to that direction. And now what I'm going to do is jump back to the About Us page. I know I've shown you guys everything from social media to share uh, to the maps, to the videos, to images, and showing you how easily and quickly you can maneuver them, showing you that you guys can scroll everything anywhere you want to go. So this last part is the, the RSS feeds and the feeds that you can plug into this. So what I'm going to do is simply drag these feeds right under the video section. And as you can see, it shows you all the different feeds, and these are generic. But you have the ability to do this for your customers and, and bring in feeds. Again, helps with social media. It may slow a page down a little bit, but you guys are strategic and you guys can do it. So once you've dragged that in and you're ready to publish, just touch this button or, or click that button right there. See, I, I say touch because I'm so used to touch. And you're good to go. Put in a generic domain name. You guys will have the ability to uh, publish these free for now um, since this is a, a, a basic trial. So you guys can test this out. And we'll get to the final product here in just a little bit. So enjoy, have fun. Any questions, you guys can email or call us.